This morning, defenses are up as people on the set of Rust begin pointing fingers. Lawyers representing the person in charge of guns say Hannah Gutierrez-Reed has been falsely portrayed and slandered. Writing in a statement, the set would never have been compromised if live ammo were not introduced, and she has no idea where the live rounds came from. But Santa Fe County Sheriff says they need to hear more. We appreciate the statement given by Ms. Uh, Gutierrez-Reed. Um, I think it uh, raises more questions than it does answers. Authorities saying the 24-year-old, along with Assistant Director Dave Halls, at the center of the investigation. They handled a revolver like this one before giving it to Alec Baldwin, who fired the deadly shot, killing 42-year-old Helena Hutchins. As a weapons expert, is it hard to fathom how the armorer doesn't know how live ammo ended up in the weapon? Yeah, that's unbelievable to me. That's exactly what the armorer's job is to do. Gutierrez Reed directing the focus to the film's production team. Her attorney's writing, she was hired on two positions on this film, which made it extremely difficult to focus on her job as an armorer. She fought for training, but ultimately was overruled by production and her department. Those sources close to the production tell NBC News they held four weapons training days. Gutierrez Reed never worked in both positions at the same time, and no one was looking to cut corners. It's very possible there are simply too many things that went wrong here to blame on one person. That's exactly what happened in the Brandon Lee shooting death in 1993. Carolina investigators concluded that there was plenty of negligence, but it was so spread out among the crew that no one person was ever charged. The onset tragedy now having widespread impact. Put your guns down. ABC's cop show The Rookie announced it will no longer allow live weapons on set, with 80,000 people signing a petition to ban them industry-wide. Given that they look identical, why would you ever bring a real gun onto set when you could use a prop gun? New Mexico's governor is calling for a comprehensive look at safety protocols within the industry and promises if nothing is changed, the state will take action. Kristen, Joe. Emily Aketa in Los Angeles. Emily, thanks. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.